There are seven steps, count them, I know you won't, uh, to building and growing any direct-to-consumer e-commerce business uh, to ensure that it is profitable. What are they? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you. Now, if you like this kind of information where I'm helping you build your own direct-to-consumer e-commerce business, whether that's on Amazon or Shopify, eBay, whatever it might be, make sure that you subscribe to my channel because I'm posting brand new money-making information just like this each and every day. Also, give this video a thumbs up and that way I'll know you want more information just like this. And if you've got any questions about this stuff that I'm going to show you, comment below and I'm going to answer that personally for you. With that being said, let's get into it. Step number one. This is something I've just been going through myself, just been kind of thinking it through and um, um, with regards to this new business, no entity I'm setting up here in Europe, what is the specific goal for the business? So the last business I set up, I had a target of 10,000 customers in six months. Uh, and then once you've got that, that enables you to work backwards. The Oodle Food business, for instance, the target for that was to set it up and sell it for $5 million. That was the specific stated goal of that business. And then everything was built backwards from that goal, okay? So it's really important to think about where you wanna try and get to. Next, who is your buyer? Something we speak about heaps. Who's, who's gonna buy this product? Um, I go to the degree of giving this particular person a name. I think about them heaps. I stalk them on social media. I go into Facebook groups. I wanna fully understand uh, who these people are, or this person is, sell to one person, uh, why they are interested in the product, what are the problems that they've got, what keeps them awake at night, who are they, what do they think about, I want to get to know them, kind of get drunk with them, so to speak, and that way you'll get to understand them, which enables you to then create things that they'll really, really love, which is where you want to get to. Uh, once you understand who they are, you want to think about where are they? So where can you find these people online? Uh, great thing about marketplaces like Amazon and also to a lesser degree eBay and a slightly lesser degree again um, Shopify marketplace which you would now got. Um, they enable us, the great thing about them is that's where a lot of customers are. Okay, so that's kind of done for you. And our goal and our job is to figure out what they type into that particular search engine, Amazon, eBay, whatever it is. And then we can put our adverts in front of them. Okay, but if you're not there, you also want to figure out where they are on social media, what Facebook groups they're in, what pages they're in, what social media are they on TikTok? Are they using Instagram? So that you can put your advertisements in front of them, okay? You wanna get all that information so you can get in front of them. Uh, once you get their attention, how do you wanna reach them? Are you gonna use Facebook ads? Are you gonna use YouTube? YouTube is, like most people think about um, TikTok as uh, the big trending platform to get in front of prospects and customers, but in actuality, YouTube is the Mac daddy as far as getting in front of people, as far as video is concerned. And all of those same age group that are using TikTok, they're also on YouTube as well. They're also on YouTube as well. And they consume more content on YouTube, for instance. Okay. YouTube's been very, very good to me. Uh, once you've got to, so we've got to figure out what the hell is working. What the hell works? Advertising is a definite art form, but because we're digital marketers, it gives us an inordinate amount of ability to track what's happening with our customers through their buying cycle. And what you want to do is you want to track that. You want to set things up. Google Analytics is a free platform that allows you to do that. You can get all that information about the customer buying cycle and the lifestyle, uh, the life of the customer. And once you figure out what's actually working, you double down on it. Once you know, my goal with any business is to get to a point where it becomes an ATM. 
So what that means is for every X dollars I put into a particular marketing channel, Facebook, YouTube, Google Ads, Amazon Ads, whatever it may be, I know I'm going to get Y dollars back. Okay. So if I put in $10, I'm going to get $15 back. So my original 10 plus an extra five. Once that happens, it becomes an ATM. The question then becomes, how much money can I throw at it until it stops working? And how quickly can I throw it at it until it starts working? You want to make as much money as you can, as fast as you can. Okay, That's what tracking does for you. Uh, retaining customers. Much, much easier to keep um, ex a, a pre-existing customer to get them to buy again than it is to get a new customer to buy. Much, much easier. Some, I was having a discussion with somebody, I think a few weeks ago, um, and they, we were actually talking about the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs. And they said, oh, you know, why do you sell the Aussie Online Entrepreneur so cheap? It's only $77 a month. What, you know, that's insane for what you give relative to what other people give at crazily high price points, three, four thousand, six thousand dollar price points. Why so cheap? And the answer to that is because I understand lifestyle, lifetime value. Uh, we've got people who've been in the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs since the very, very first year it was created. I've still got customers and people who still, for whatever reason, listen to all I've got to say now. Okay, And so the lifetime value of that is far, far greater than the three or $4,000 that other people are charging. But because I understand it, I can optimize for it. And my goal is to keep people, kind of keep them coming back by over delivering on what we do. This is a really smart thing to do, okay? Really, Starbucks sells a coffee for $4, $4.50. Their lifetime value of a customer is $14,000. This is a really, really smart thing to do. Once you understand it is much better to sell uh, somebody who already trusts you something else than to try and get somebody who doesn't trust you yet to buy something, it changes all of your business model and you optimize for longevity with your clients instead, which really means you look after them. And, when, and I think that's cool to do. Anyway, so much smarter to do that, much cheaper to do that as well. And then... Final thing, um, once you do figure out what's go what's happening with your marketing, once you do figure out what your lifetime value of a customer is, you want to go hell for leather so that your advertisements are everywhere. So you're not just on one channel, but you're on all channels where you think they are based on your research. Do as much as you possibly can so that you're top of mind. The thing that I've really learned, well, let's take Aussie Online Entrepreneurs again. Most people, when they sign up for the email list of Aussie Online Entrepreneurs, so not the customer list, but just the email list, it takes them on average between 45 and 65 days before they actually become a member of Aussie Online Entrepreneurs, okay? 45 to 65 days. So if I gave up after that first kind of contact, hey, do you want to come and join Aussie Online Entrepreneurs? No, thanks. Okay, no worries. If I gave up then, my business would be, that business would be teeny tiny, okay? But because I understand you've got to be everywhere for them because customers, generally speaking, aren't ready to buy, until they're ready to buy, you want to be everywhere so that when they are ready to buy, they think of you first. Okay, This applies to all different things. Like I've talked about Aussie and entrepreneurs, but it applies to all different things as well. Okay, So you, you can use this no matter what you're in. You can use this for your particular business. Super cool thing to do. And I, I think as well that the big thing about this is by having the idea that um, you're building a business what's going to retain customers, it makes you think very, very differently about the way you treat customers as well. Like you won't always get it right. Speak to anybody in Aussie Online Entrepreneurs, they'll tell you that I definitely don't get it always right. But I try and get it right. And I think if you come from that space and you're super transparent, people get that and they'll stick around, okay? That's been my belief anyway. That was a video from my regular weekly Q&A session with the members of the Aussie Online 
entrepreneurs. We're a community of over 2,000 members and growing. We are the fastest growing e-commerce direct-to-consumer community around the world with sales, by the way, of over $70 million. That's our members' sales are $70 million per annum. If you would like to find out more about what we do and how we can help you build your own direct-to-consumer e-commerce business utilizing things like Shopify and Amazon and eBay, Facebook, TikTok, etc., etc. Get yourself off to www.Aussie Online Entrepreneurs. The link for that is in the description. .com.au and I will see you on the other side. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.